Welcome back. This is our next Monday multiplayer matchup with the Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach series. I am playing as the Space Wolves, and we are going to try to hold the line against the Green Tide. I'll get some forces selected here. Okay, I've selected our forces. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to be very effective, but I've been kind of on a kick using the Great Wolf, so I figure, what the heck, why don't we use them again? I also have the Whirlwind selected, because why not? It's amazing. Uh, two Venerable Dreadnoughts. I've been usually deferring getting Dreadnoughts and going with Predators instead, but I thought, oh, what the heck, let's use Dreadnoughts this time. So I selected those. I have a Wolfguard Terminator with a Storm Bolter. Uh, I originally had selected the two Thunder Hammers to try to hold the line a little bit more effectively, but then the whole point of using the Great Wolf is you can use his ranged attack to lower melee re er, uh, range resistance. So why would I not bring a Bolter with me? I have two Land Speeders, a Last Cannon, two Missile Launchers, a Heavy Flamer. I never use them, but what the heck, let's try it out again. And then I had 130 points left, so I ended up going with a Sky Claw to see if maybe they can run around and get some attacks on a Battle Wagon if they try to run down and then potentially unload some units if we are able to destroy the battle wagon and really blow them apart from range. Fortunately, I did not have enough uh, points left to be able to get the uh, Winter Fang. He is one of my favorite hero units, but it is not to be. So let's see if we can hold up the li hold the lines against the Green Tide. Okay, I've deployed our forces here. I'm not quite 100% sure what I want to do. You know, I got this building here that's blocking pretty much everything. Maybe all I'd actually do is something like this. Put you in there. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't fly out, so you'd have to go there to do that. Well, maybe... Uh, yeah, let's put you here. That way we can make sure nobody's going to sneak up on him from the left side here. Have the Venerable Dreadnought to try to lock down this pathway. Have the other Venerable Dreadnought here. Going to try to knock down some of this um, small structure here so there's less firing from our secondary line here. Uh, and then the... Venerable Dreadnought can come up here to try to hold this area down. The only problem is if he has Mega Knobs, he can run them down here, and Mega Knobs can kill Dreadnoughts like nobody's business. So that's going to be a problem, potentially. Uh, I have the Whirlwind forward deployed, so we can hopefully shoot off uh, some attacks here. And I guess we will put you here. I'm going to keep him back, not at the front here, because when I do that, he can see where I'm deployed. So hopefully this way he won't have that visibility. And we have three victory points to protect. So let's see what happens.
Can't see anybody. Still can't see anybody. Or can you? No, I just can't see anybody yet. No, can't freaking see anything. All right, there we go. Now I can finally see something. Fire and dome. That was terrible. Sure, go ahead and try. Okay, you're just gonna end up destroying that cover. I think he's gonna be able to run anybody down. Well, so, on you here. I almost left you out in the open. That wouldn't be good. Man, that whirlwind shot really sucked. Really disappointing. space these guys out because we know he's got some artillery. Just 
keep you over here just to help protect that whirlwind. I can't have that die. They're here. Alright, it's up there. I wonder if I can flank. Got nobody in there? Got nobody in either vehicle. Now I'm just hella confused because he doesn't have guys anywhere. You can't get up there. You're just kind of doing your thing, it looks like. Eighty fifty five. Alright, well go ahead and shoot into this guy, I guess. Oh that's great. This freaking guy is right there. Forty-five. Well, they can at least try, I guess. I shoot from there. I can take some cover. And here. Hopefully he can't see you, but he might. What the heck did this guy spend all of his points on? Got some mega knobs, a battle wagon that's empty. Does he just have everybody right here? I don't understand.
he's going to be trying to shoot you down. I guess let's just move you over here. To get guys as much in cover as we can. Still a little too far out for you guys to be able to get in there. Guess we'll just keep you there. Move you up one. Move you guys back a little bit. Maybe do the same thing with you. As we know the artillery is around here. Oh, I would have thought he was going to run him down. Termies. Boss moving down. am I going to do? Really not great attacks with any of these guys. That's 45% chance to hit. 35, 55. Yes, we could do artillery here. Take, start working on the war. Yeah, mega knobs. Not super excited about any of these targets, really. You still can't get around to flank these guys. Alright, here's what we do. Which one do we need to destroy? This one right here. Now you attack here. Oh, I forgot about the war boss. Of course I did. Damn it. Alright, that would have been a good idea. Had I taken into consideration... <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Alright. Freaking war boss. Alright. And I can't just flank you. Do I just kill the artillery right now? Do I come over here and try to take out this? Oh, look at what we found. Uh, it's just a scratch, boss.
Only got 50 left. Ah. Damn it. All right. What's your range? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might have just killed you, though. So I don't know if that was a very good trade. So this land speeder is definitely dead next turn. I'm gonna start focusing on taking out some of these orcs here. Gotta get that super cannon dead. Worried about these mega knobs. Oh yeah, I got you over here too. Yep, going after the land speeder, not surprising. Nice. Oh, his view is blocked, he can't kill the land speeder. Okay, so the other player ended up forfeiting. 
not entirely surprised by that given uh, what he did on his turn. Trying to debate whether I should upload this video or not. I think I will just for some learning points, not to criticize, but again to try to learn uh, from this. Uh, I think the main issues he had is he had difficulty committing uh, to an attack. He, you know, he was kind of poking us a little bit and then pulling back and then moving these guys, you know, these forces over here and then maybe thought he was going to put them over here. Now they're all going over here to go after the land speeder and now they're all exposed over here. Um, and then, you know, we're using this cover here as line of sights blocks and then he wasn't able to kill the land speeder so he ended up not getting a lot of attacks. So things I would do to probably have improved uh, if I was him or her, whoever I was playing against, the other player, is I would have had my infantry definitely hiding inside of the battle wagon, especially if you get the mech gun. Because if you get the mech gun, then you know the other team is also going to have the possibility of getting artillery. And with the uh, Space Marines, that whirlwind is incredibly dangerous against infantry. So keeping them protected until you can unload them in front of the enemy forces is very helpful you know you try to stay at range from with the uh super cannons now these things have great range so he could have been even farther back and uh taken shots at me so probably had those a little bit too close um and then he was just like i said having difficulty committing to an assault so it just took too long for him to close the gap here um, that's not an uncommon thing. I've done that on some of my uh, multiplayer matchups where I've lost, so you guys can easily see videos of me doing this as well. Uh, this is frequently an issue that I actually see more with players, new players to Chaos. Is you know the whole thing with Chaos is they're almost all close quarters um, units, and so you gotta just get in there, soak up some shots, and once you close the distance, you can just destroy the enemy lines. A lot of the orc units, you have to do that too. Um, but they do have some really good range units as well. So the force composition wasn't necessarily too bad. It was just more of just this, uh, you know, not having every all your guys together. They were too spaced out, not utilizing the battle wagons appropriately, and then just not committing were kind of the uh, main faults, that I would say. And I think that would be the main point to learn from this matchup is uh, keep those things into consideration. So we only destroyed three of his units, he destroyed one of ours, and uh, that's a three to one point ratio for us. So thank you for watching, I'll continue to upload these Sanctus Reach Monday multiplayer matchups every Monday. If you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. If there's any certain matchups that you would like to see, please let me know, comment below on the video, and I'll try to accommodate that. And if you'd like to play a match against me, just feel free to join any of my um games that I start online on the Sanctus Reach multiplayer website and if we can set up a custom map if you'd like just uh, we can chat a little bit in between the turns unfortunately with the Sanctus Reach uh, game if you want to do any custom settings you have to set up a private game and with the private game they're all password protected so unless uh, the player knows exactly what the game and the password are you can't set up custom maps but if that's something you'd be interested in you know join one of my uh, other uh, games that I post and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks again for watching.